Good morning and welcome back to Marty's Tying Bench. This morning I'm putting together this week's Vice Squad kits and the pattern I've chosen is a poodle sniffer. A uh, cool name. It's a black caddis pupa for the Bighorn River. The originator is a David Palmer. And a lot of our caddis pupa have pretty bright greens and chartreuse in the pupa, so this should be a good one around here as well. I'm tying it on a Montana Fly 7125. Uh, if you're going to fish it on the Bighorn, fish it in an 18. Today I'm tying it on a 16. Keep your thread thin. So this is Uni A dot. UTC 70 denier will work, of course. And I'm starting that about where my transition is going to be between the abdomen and the thorax. I'm going to start by installing the rib. We're using a chartreuse ultra wire, small. Tying that in on my side of the hook and keep it there with your wraps as you go to the back. And I want to get down the bend a little bit, take a little advantage of the curvature of this pupa hook. And make sure the wire is tugged towards you. That will keep the top flat and make it a little easier to install the tail fibers. For tail, I've got pheasant tail dyed black. And I'm going to select out four strands. Make sure I've got four tips. And then just peel that away, and then they'll stay together. And rather than measure this tail, I'm just going to tie it in with a couple of loose wraps. And then tug on it until it's the length I like. And this tail's designed to be rather, relatively short. Now I can tug on the thread to secure it and continue forward. Now here's a good technique for wrapping pheasant tail fibers. Rather than reaching around with both hands, just make a wrap, touch it on the top to hold it in place, and then use your fingers to push the bobbin out of the way while you grab it for the next wrap. By doing it this way, you lay those pheasant fibers down all four of them side by side so you get the maximum effect of the fuzzy nature of that material. Now I, I wrapped a little bit forward to get a good snug tie-in point because I'm going to break these off. If you just pull when they're together they're, they're pretty tough and it won't break. But If you just twist it a little and get those separated they go pop 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 save you picking up a scissors. Now I'm going to come forward with the chartreuse wire. Five turns seems to be about right with the size 16. And we'll finish with peacock for the thorax. And today I'm using it right off the peacock eye. It's nice and plush. And I always want to break off the tip that's tender anyway. Again, I can tie that in long and then just kind of pull it back until it's not crowding the eye. And here's a little technique I like. I'll move my thread back forward, fold the peacock forward, tie it in, and then move my thread back to the index. What that does is gets the bobbin out of the way so I can wrap from front to back. When I tie it off, I'm going to make two wraps right in the exact same place, and then one of them at least through the peacock itself, and then one around the eye. What that's going to do is that uh, thread is going to anchor the peacock. And wet finish. 
using that thread to catch a few little strays there. So there you have it, the Poodle Sniffer.